Today's telecast is being presented live from the scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And Bricks, we've got some major star sightings today. Oh, look, there's Tom Shanks. And there's Tyler Scary. And oh, oh, that's Jennifer Gorings. Wow. <laughs> Are those things real or fake, you think, Rem? Well, if you're talking about those two big chihuahuas she's holding, yep, they look real to me, Pop. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Lost Wages Invaders take on the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still moving, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. Eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he just lets that one go. He says, no thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Look out! That's an all-out attack on the QB. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer! Kiska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? And it's first and ten. A great throw and a great catch. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Oh, shit. First down and inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was! <laughs> Second. 
second down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means he can wrap up the other. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First down to seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and six. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first.
First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he drops it. And he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second and three. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. The return man catches the ball and hits upfield. You ever get hit in the head with a bulldog, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Second down and ten. 
Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he zips that one in there from touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And the runner is doing crazy bad. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Graham. You're right. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Two minutes left in the half. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down in a mile. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for... The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and, well, good luck. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from top. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Lady's 
him. Holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Hot two, three. And they stumped the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. If he is getting killed by a chainsaw before he completed his fall, <laughs> goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And this is going to be a rocket shot to the moon. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. quarter about to begin here and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat i was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when bricks started farting like a fourth of july fireworks finale <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and a lot. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. They're going for two points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion.
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot two. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and six. Oh, with a brutal hit. run for a first down. First and eight to go. Oh, nice hit. Second down and seven. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. And they run it in for two points. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. 
And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mondren, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Uh, you... I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as you. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third and two. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Thank God he's still got his tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic. And then on Sportsmanlike Play of the Day, brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's Drive Through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. What the high cool! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, did I kill him? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. First and ten. Oh, look at this guy caught for the first down. Yeah. 
And it's first and ten. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Ray Man with a ball and didn't fall down. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> when in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. Well, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL because whenever they juice that play, he finds open space and running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch.
And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. Nicely done for a first down. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah. Take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. You can tell he's surprised no one uses the electric car. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry up offense, you moron. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one. Hot. Ten yard pickup there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners straight through the uprights. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot one, hot two. Hot he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The onside kicks the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing it right. That's a bad kick, and it's gonna cost them some yards. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick.
And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations! You just played yourself! Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten.